Alright everyone, my name is Adam Maripos Vox and welcome back to an OBS multi-platform or OBS studio tutorial. As always, links to all of these videos will be in the playlist link in the description below, along with a lot of helpful links to a lot of helpful resources and other videos regarding OBS. My name is Epos Vox and welcome to the journey. In this video, we're going to be checking out audio devices. This is going to be what you record with your audio. So again, we're going to return to this mixer down here in our interface and I'm going to bring our window up a little bit so it's easier to look at. And this is our mixer. You're going to want to get acquainted with this window, which I covered in the first video in this series, so check out that link, but we'll cover it more in a minute. And your Windows audio settings as well. So to get that, find your speaker icon in your system tray down here on Windows, right click it and go to recording devices or playback devices, it'll open the same menu that we need. Now this is going to show a list of the microphones and interfaces and things like that, as well as speakers that you have connected to your computer. Now for recording devices, most of you probably aren't going to have this many devices. Most of you are probably going to have one or two. It's going to be a microphone and it's going to be like a webcam or a built-in microphone. Choose which one you're going to use. Here I have my webcam microphone. Here I have my audio interface with my professional microphone. Here I have another input. Here I have the microphone input on my sound card, etc. So you need to figure out what you're recording with. Are you recording with a webcam, a gaming headset, a professional microphone, a USB microphone? USB devices are going to be named what they're called. So like if you're using a Blue Snowball or Blue Yeti, here it's going to say Blue Yeti under line in. If you're using a headset microphone, it's likely just going to be a microphone for either something like real tech, high tech, or high definition audio or your sound card. And that's going to want what you're going to want to look for in just a minute. Same thing with speakers. By default, your default should work because what you have selected as your default in Windows is what you're going to hear out of. Something you want to look out for is in Windows your default communication device. With Skype or TeamSpeak or programs like that, it may be putting your chat out via your default communications device. If you want OBS to pick up these devices, you need to make sure that this is set to the same device and identify this in OBS. So let's check out our audio settings here in OBS. This is the mixer. It's going to show the audio devices you currently have selected, an audio wave of whatever sound is running through them, some volume knobs to balance your audio, and then some mixer settings. If we click the gear next to mixer, you're presented with a bigger you know, window of what you have going here in terms of volume and devices. Now, one thing I want to point out real quick is this down mix to mono option. If you're only getting microphone audio through the left or right speaker, this is because you have a mono microphone. There's nothing wrong with that. And most professional grade microphones are mono. But if that's, the, if that's what's happening, then you're going to want to down mix it to mono. That way it outputs it to both speakers for, both, for all of your viewers. That seems kind of backwards, but a mono stream is actually going to output via left and right equally. Whereas if you have a stereo input that's coming in but only on one side, it's only going to go out that one side. So look at that. And then if you need to offset your audio to match something like an Elgato or something, you can do that here. Or we'll cover that later. All right, open up your settings and go over here to audio. Your sample rate should be either 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz. In most cases, it's going to be 44.1. Open back up your recording devices and check out what you have in your microphone and stuff. So if I open up my interface here and go to properties and then advanced, you can see here it's two channel 44.1 kilohertz or 44.1 or 44100 hertz. Same thing if I go to my speakers that I'm using, my SPDIF out, properties, advanced, it's actually 48,000. But my microphone is 44.1, and that's what's most important in terms of balancing, so that's what I have selected. Between the two of 44.1 and 48, it really isn't going to make a huge difference for you. You don't really want it on 22.05 unless you know what you're doing because it's going to sound like crap. You also can choose stereo or mono. In most cases, you're going to want stereo audio, because if you're recording something like a game or a video, you want stereo audio. Now here you have the option to select multiple audio devices. For your desktop audio device, it should be set to default for default for your game sound and things like that. Or as we mentioned previously, if you know a specific output that's happening that you want to capture, you can choose that here. Same thing with desktop audio device too. Let's say you have game out go into your default, you choose that as default, but you want Skype picked up as well. Well, we can go over here to speakers, which our Skype is going out of, or rather for me, it's line out. And then we're picking up both line out and game sound. Boom. Two different audio devices. Something people have been trying to figure out for OBS for a long time. Here you go. Right there. 
Same thing with microphones. You want multiple microphones? Let's select that one for microphone one. We'll select my webcam for microphone two. And we'll select the default input for microphone three. Three microphones running in this setup. How's it going? <laughs> and, but in all seriousness, pick whichever one is right for you. Take a look at your system and figure it out. And if you don't want multiple microphones, don't choose multiple microphones. Here you also have settings to enable push to mute or push to talk. And that's actually pretty convenient. Push to talk is pretty common as you hold down a key to talk, but that can be very problematic in a game. You don't want to keep having to hit a key to talk in your stream while you're playing a game. However, maybe if you need to mute your microphone, that's a situation in which holding down a key is probably very appropriate. So you can set that up and then go to your hotkey settings to actually set up which key you press to either talk or mute. Once you're done with your settings, hit apply and hit OK and it will be reflected in your mixer if, for example, you add a secondary microphone or desktop audio device. So now we have two desktop audio, and then we can balance it. So this top one is going to be our game sound. This bottom one, which is desktop audio 2, is our Skype sound, well, so we'll have that up a little bit more than game sound. And then we have our microphone here. So if we have Skype or TeamSpeak going through here, that audio is going to be bumping, that audio is going to be bumping from our game, and we can balance it out and test it with our viewers really freaking cool. So that's a quick look at the audio device settings in OBS multi-platform or OBS studio. I do hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, uh, frankly, it was helpful for me. So that's pretty cool. I, I, I'm just blown away with all the cool stuff they've added to the new version. If this video was helpful for you or you just liked it in general, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Consider checking out our Patreon campaign where you can contribute to the channel via a monthly contribution, earn early access to our videos across all of our channels, get special exclusive Q&As and things like that, and other stuff. Also, be sure to follow us over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash eposvox. That link will be in the description below. We've been picking up more streams, and once we finish our final move here, we're moving to an apartment. We're going to be streaming a ton, so be sure to follow us over on Twitch. And feel free to request whatever game you'd like to see. If you want to see us stream a game, we may very well stream it. Be sure to request it as well. And I will catch you in a future video. My name's been Adam Marifos Vox, and my voice is getting really worn out, and I'm only on video four. Ouch. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, Epos Vox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel. That way you never miss an upload. Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next epic tech video.